Hey YouTube, in today's video we're going to cover how to create a unique style for every one of your collection items. So Webflow released a new feature pretty recently and whenever you have the collection item selected from the drop down, you can style just the first item in the list, the last item in the list, or every odd or even uh, item in the list. Which this is great, it's great progress, but there's still some limitations to it. So we can't style individually uh, pieces like inside each item, which is kind of limiting, especially if we need a link block inside the collection item uh, and we need the link block to actually be the thing that's styled. We lose that ability to even use this on the item. So I'm going to teach a way today using custom code to have full control over how you want these items to be styled. And the first thing we're going to do is really just alternate background colors for each one of these cards. So I'm going to drag in a custom code embed directly onto the page. And when it's on the page, then we can preview uh, what it's going to look like. So I'll leave a link to this code um, in the description of this video. But this code basically is going to allow us to um, style each item individually. So there's two things. We can either style the item itself or we can style the children inside the item. And in this case, we're going to want to style the children inside the item. So I'll delete this first bit of code, um, but it's there if you need it. Now with this first number, this 3N, uh, this determines how many items we want to style before we start repeating the process again. So if I want the first item in the list to be red, second to be blue, third to be green, and then it to repeat again, this next one would be red, blue, green, and it would just start repeating that pattern all the way down the list. So that's an option here, but if we want to increase this even further, instead of using three, we can just copy this code here. And then we would have to change each one of these to four if we want there to be four, five, six, or however many items you want them to be. And then the second value here, we need to make sure to change it to a four. So we're tar targeting the first item out of four, second item out of four here, third item out of four, and then fourth item out of four. So you can uh, make these as many as you want them to be. But for now, we're just going to target uh, three items and we'll change the colors of each. So for each of these, the first thing I'm going to want to do is get the class of my collection item, which in this case is just item. So I'm going to copy that class and I'll open up my custom code embed. And I'm going to paste that class right here between the period and the colon. So that's where my class name needs to go uh, for each one of these. So once we have the item, then we need to select the child that we want to target inside that item. So inside my item, I have this article link, which is a link block. I'm going to copy that class and open up my HTML embed. And then here, uh, after the period, I'm just going to replace this with the child that I want to target. So then from here, I can really just target it um, how I want it to be targeted. So it has these really awful colors that are from HTML uh, color codes right now. So we're going to want to change that with our actual colors. Um, so this first color here is going to be what I want the first color to be. So if you're not familiar with writing CSS, what you can do is hover over here and click CSS preview. And then you can copy the code that you're going to need to style it. So I'll just open this up. And all I really want to, um, to affect is the background color. So in this case, I see it's background dash color. And then I can place my hex code. Uh, which is this code right here. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and open up this um, and we'll paste in the background color. Um, we'll say background dash color and then a colon. And then we end uh, behind the hex code, we had to end it with a semicolon. And then that should change this first one to the color I want. Perfect. So now the second card, I'm actually going to want to be. Um, this kind of like light tan color. So I'll copy the hex code for that. Actually, I might make that the third card. Um, we'll make it that hex code. Perfect. And then this middle card here, I want it to be a light blue color, which is this one here. So we'll just copy that in. And I will open this up and paste in that hex code right here. 
Perfect. So now we have these different colors for all our cards and they're alternating colors. So um, we see it's kind of breaking them up in this in the pattern that we have set. But then I don't want all of these to be this uh, yellow color. So like in the blue card, I want the circle to be a darker blue. So I'm going to go ahead and get that hex code um, uh, for the darker blue. And this is the color I want it to be. And then you notice the class here is article underscore circle. So we're just going to open up the embed again. And I'll save this hex code here for now. And I'll copy this line. Uh, I'll actually copy all three of these lines and then just paste them in. So this time we want to target the circle, not the link. So I'll change these where it says link to circle. All right. And then for the blue card, which is the second card in the list, I want to change the circle's background color to that dark blue color. And voila, we have that. So now I need to change, uh, I need to get the hex code for this sort of dark yellow color. And that would go here. And I'll paste that in right here. And then last, I need to get the hex code for this dark tan. And I'll copy that. And we'll just paste it in for the last value here. Perfect. So now that we have that, um, it looks like all these are looking pretty good. One other thing we could do is just alternate the order every other card. So if we're using Flexbox when this parent and we hit this um, sort of reverse switch, we'll see now the text comes first and the image is second. But I really want that to only happen to every other card, not to all of them. So if I come over to the CSS preview and I copy the code to clipboard and I'll just paste in all that code, um, the code that I actually want is this one that says reverse right here, that line of code. So I'm just going to copy that and I'll undo that one here. So we really only want the um, even numbers to be the one that's flipped. So it'll start like this and then every even number it will reverse. So we're going to go to the code and the thing that has Flexbox is the link class. So I'm just going to save this code for now down here. Um, I'm going to copy this right here and we'll bring it onto a new line. So we're still targeting the links, but instead of targeting every first out of three, we can actually just change this whole thing to just say even. And now it's only going to target the even ones. And we can copy this flex direction code and just paste it into here and then hit save. And now every other card is reversed but also we have the alternating colors happening so you can really do a lot with just a little bit of code in here and then on um, probably on this breakpoint we'll just change this to block so it'll ignore that reverse that way it just stacks cleanly um, but yeah that's the basics of pretty much uh, just targeting it. you can do every first, second, third, fourth, fifth, etc. item. You can do all the evens. You can target all the odd items and uh, things inside those items. And also, if you want to, you can target, you can replace this inf child in the even and target just the uh, first item in the list or target just the last item in the list that way too. Um, so there's all different ways to kind of just target these items. So I hope you've enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below what kind of tutorials you're looking for. Um, what would you like to learn about? And then also feel free to check out my channel for any YouTube tutorials you may have missed uh, that you may find helpful. Thank you and have a good day.